Good morning, everyone. So as you can see, Simon is back filming with me. More excited than ever. And he actually came up with today's video and I'm super excited about it. We thought that a cool video could be to attempt to do five hikes in under 12 hours. Um, both my sister and I love hiking. Um, it's probably our favorite way to get exercise. Well, actually mine is going to the ocean and swimming, but oh, yeah. that, that's my second favorite way. Yeah. Um, Cause you're out in nature, you're out in the fresh air, you have a nice view. <laughs> Especially here in LA, uh, we have so many awesome hiking spots. So You guys are very spoiled. So we thought that we would take you guys along with us today and uh, check out some of the popular spots in LA to hike and uh, maybe even a couple not so popular spots. Yeah. And we kind of have some criteria for the challenge, so I will let Simon explain that since it's his idea. So we didn't want to just, you know, go to a, a canyon and hike for, you know, five or ten minutes and um, say that that was uh, the hike, okay? So our criteria is each hike that we do has to be at least two miles long. Mm -hmm. Um, and then obviously we have to do it all on the same day. What we'll do is we'll just um, take a, a little uh, clip of my cell phone that shows the date. Yeah. Um, February 9th. And yeah, that's that's kind of it. Um, so I think that our main hurdle is just going to be dealing with LA traffic. Um, because mm -hmm. we want to get done the hikes before the sun sets today. So doing five hikes is, is going to be quite the challenge I think. but. I think it'll be fun. So we are just getting ready, trying to get pumped up, get a little bit of energy for the hike. We are starting the day healthy and having a green drink. So thank you Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. I have AG1 every single morning. I personally don't drink coffee, but I find that AG1 gives me the energy that I need. AG1 has 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients in each serving. And it's great if you have an active lifestyle because it helps with energy and it also helps with recovery. That's what we're going to need today. Yes, sure. definitely. So it contains things like your B vitamins that are going to help with your energy levels. It contains a variety of adaptogenic herbs, which are going to help reduce fatigue and stress. You basically just add a scoopful or one travel packet of the AG1 into eight ounces of water, shake it up, and it's ready to drink. It tastes delicious and gives you all those nutrients. And you can check out the link down below in the description box to get the AG1 Immunity Bundle for free with your AG1 purchase. So that includes a year supply worth of vitamin D and five individual travel packs. And the travel packs are so great to take with you when you're doing hikes and that sort of stuff. And vitamin D is so important for a healthy functioning immune system. We're gonna be getting some vitamin D from the sun today, but we can't always do that. So it's nice to have a good quality vitamin D and K2 supplement. But I guess we should finish getting ready and head out for our first hike. Wish us luck. So we just got to our first hiking spot. This is Calabasas Hidden Stairs. So far we're about five minutes into the hike and we already love it. And this might be our new favorite hike. It's really cool. Look at all the hills. And check out the stairs. So that's where we're heading to. We're right over there. So Wednesday, February 9th. So wish us luck. 
So I got a green juice. It has cucumber, celery, spinach, fennel, I think, mint, apple, lemon. Super, super good. It's my favorite green drink ever. And then mine is the, uh, what, what's it called? The shroom? Shroom shake. Yeah, shroom shake. And it's with like Four Sigmatic and um, some other cool stuff. Protein really, and... Yeah, it's really, really good. It's quite expensive there, but everything is organic and it tastes so good. So every once in a while for a treat, we love it. All right, so just for some uh, confirmation, February 9th, so you guys see we're not cheating. Yeah. It's a little after one o'clock, so we Good are morning. behind schedule. But, yeah, we gotta hurry. But, uh, we're gonna do our best. So this is Franklin Canyon. This is one of my favorite spots. Um, it's super, super laid back. It's just uh, north of Beverly Hills. And, you know, it's more like popular with the locals, not so uh, touristy, like Runyon or anything like that. Um, but yeah, come on, I'll show you guys uh, something cool down here. My favorite part of Franklin Canyon is this road over here. Yeah, this lake area. Okay. I'll show you guys some uh, better views from up there, but this is just like kind of down close to it. Nice lake. That looks pretty. Yeah, and uh, you know, you'll find, you know, a lot of ducks and different birds here and stuff. Um, but the cool thing is in a little pond just over there that we're going to hike to. Um, and that's got some really cool stuff that we want to show you. So. Let's quit wasting time, let's go. Come on. I got something cool to show you guys. <laughs> So this was the little surprise that we wanted to show you guys. Um, there's this cool little pond area here. There's like the bigger lake area over there, but the cool thing about this pond is that there's, well, obviously there's ducks, but there's also uh, turtles everywhere. So if you see here, so the there's turtles, turtles just basking in the sun. Look at all of them. Yeah, and there's lots of turtles everywhere here. Sweetie. Hello. The mama, the papa, and the three babies. So the thing that I find pretty fun out here is it isn't like, you know, a set trail, like, okay, this is where to go. It's just like a bunch of little trails. And then you can kind of just explore as you want. Yeah. Um, so right now I've never even been on this trail. Oh, look how cool these are, Sarah. Ooh. Yeah, get a close-up of that. Okay, hike number two is done. And I'll grab this at Sun Life Organics. I've never tried it before. Well, I just tried it now and it's absolutely delicious, but it's called Elemental Superfood Crumble Dark Chocolate and Peanut Butter. And it tastes exactly like cookie dough. It's got organic buckwheat, organic peanut butter, raw honey flax, bunch of nuts and seeds, cacao butter, cacao butter, um, and it is quite delicious if I do say so myself. Alright, so we're on our way to one of our favorite hikes ever right now. Comment down below if you can guess what it is. Okay, we are here at Runyon Canyon. This is my favorite hike.
February 9th, same day. Getting late um, in the day. Yeah, so we've only accomplished two out of the five hikes today, so we're gonna have to jog this one for sure, I think. Yeah. Descending now, so just walk down this path or jog or sprint, whatever you want to do. And that's where we came up before, so we walked all along there, looped it around the canyon, and we are almost done. So this is Griffith Park and we're gonna head up to the observatory and show you guys the view from up there. Yeah, you can kind of see it from here. Oh yeah, there it is. That's where we're headed. It has incredible views of the city from there. Just to show you, this is how many trails there are. So you could do a new trail every single day. We keep forgetting to show you guys the time, but you can see it's 4.06, February, February 9th. 9th. Last one up's the rotten egg. Mm. <laughs> Woo! All right, how are you feeling, Sarah? Oh, I'm feeling good. We're almost at the observatory now. Just a little bit longer to go. I'll show you the view. Yeah, and you can see the path right here. So this is the path we hiked up. And then you can see all the way down to the ocean right there, which is pretty cool. And then over here, sorry if this is a little bit shaky. I'm trying to do the one-handed filming thing right now. Um, yeah, and then over here, you can see we're almost at the observatory. I just want to say, I hope all you guys have a nice day. I hope you guys all were able to smile today. Typically, when we're not crunched for time, um, I like to, to continue up this trail. And this trail like wraps all the way around this hill. And there's some amazing views. See, there's a Hollywood sign right there. So it's got some really nice views of that kind of stuff. You can see everything from the Hollywood sign down to the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, I see cool. down there. Ryman starts off on this nice paved path, but once you get to the top, it um, it gets to like a more dirt path. 
So this is the this is the main pathway, but what we like to do is we like to go off the trails a little bit. Um, it's a little bit more challenging going off the off the main trails. So uh, let's go this way. Come on. Okay. Yeah, the sun's gonna start setting fast now. Yeah. Should we keep going? Yep. Follow me this way. Come on. So pretty. Yeah, it looks really nice right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at the clouds over there. And the temperature is perfect. Such a nice end to the day. Okay, well the sun has set now, so the filming quality isn't that nice. And we are just uh, going down the hill right now on Fryman, so we should be back at the parking lot in probably 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah, so that completes our five hikes in 12 hours challenge. And we will see you guys when we get home. Alright guys, we are back from our five hikes. And we are exhausted. We are very tired. We are pushing through, trying to get this video done, but we just want to pass out in bed. But before we end the video, we wanted to talk about our favorite recovery tips. You know, when you exercise a lot and work your muscles a lot, it's really important to have proper recovery. So I'm going to give a few of my favorite tips. And yeah, let's do it. So my first tip would be to do some stretching after you exercise. Yes, that's what I have to do. Yeah, when you exercise, your muscles can get really tense and tight and stiff. So it's just nice to stretch a bit afterwards, loosen everything up, because if your muscles are always really tight, that can lead to injury. And then tip number two is if you have a bathtub, you can take either a magnesium flake bath or an Epsom salt bath, and that's just gonna really help relax your muscles and just kind of ease any stiffness or any pain, and it's just really relaxing. I love having a magnesium bath. And then my favorite way to recover is using red light and near infrared light therapy. That's one of my favorite too. Yeah. A little Juve. Yeah. So this is the Juve Go 2.0 and it's just a little handheld one. I also have the panels at home, which I love because then you can get full body, but this is good if you just, you know, want to spot treat different areas. I have a whole video on red light therapy and the benefits, so I will link that down below in the description because if you are really into working out or just, you know, health in general, red light therapy is really, really awesome. Red and near infrared light therapy helps with blood flow. It increases ATP energy production in the cells. It's really good for pain. It helps with inflammation. So if you mm -hmm. have injured yourself, you can use red light therapy, near infrared light therapy um, to speed up that healing. So something that I really like um, are these acupuncture mats. Um, and they're just like a, a mat and you lay on it. Um, so let's say you have back pain, you would lay with your back against the um, what would you call it? Called the, ooh, the, these little acupuncture pressure points. It feels a little bit intense because they're they're very sharp, uh, but it really works though. I I really like laying on this. Yeah, it works along the um, meridian, so it's a sort of like you know when you get acupuncture. Um, this is very similar. Similar, it works on the acupressure points. Let me show a close up of what these little pressure points look like. And another very important thing for recovery is keeping hydrated and drinking your water. See, I have to do better with that. Because I, I don't like water just plain. Me neither. I'll, yeah, like I, I always have to either add in like some pure rose or, or some or lemon. Some herbs or yeah. something. Yeah. But I think that's okay too. You know when you're working out a lot and you're sweating a lot, you're losing all that liquid. So it's really good to replenish yourself or replenish yourself with some electrolytes like coconut water. And like I was saying before, AG1 is the perfect recovery drink because it's from Athletic Greens. It was made for athletes, but it's for everybody. 
but it has lots of adaptogenic herbs that are going to help with recovery and it's also NSF certified so what that means is whatever on the label is actually in the package so that's really important for know you know top performing athletes who need to know what they're consuming so yeah this is excellent for recovery and it's excellent for energy before so you can have it before your workout for energy or you can have it after to help with recovery and like i mentioned in the beginning of the video you can click the link down below in the description to get the ag1 immunity bundle for free with your ag1 purchase and then lastly some massage so you can use a foam roller to roll out your muscles get all the tense stiff muscles nice and loose or you can give yourself a self massage or someone else can massage you so i love this osea vegas nerve oil it smells really good this is like my third or fourth bottle i love it so much it has lots of really calming herbs it's supposed to work on the vagus nerve so it just helps relax you but it smells so good so what i do with this is i just take a squirt in my hand and then I run it along my neck like this. Try not to get it on my shirt. And so, then, so that's the area that you want to, okay. Yeah, right there. And you can smell it in your hand, I'll relax Yeah, it. I can smell it right here. It and then really nice. you can just massage it with your hand or you can take like a gua sha tool and just run it along there and just massage your muscles. That's interesting. Like that. It feels so good. So those are my recovery tips. Do you have any more that you can think of? Um, I do like the neck massage like you were saying, but I don't use a gua sha. I use something else. I, I prefer the... Oh my gosh. Python <laughs> massage. So yeah, this is great for after a strenuous workout. So instead of spending, you know, 100 bucks to go to the massage therapist, you just gotta get yourself one of these. Wow, okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, best massage you'll ever get. So. <laughs> Alright guys, so thanks so much for joining us today on the five hikes in, well I was going to say five hikes in 12 hours, but it was under 12 hours. Yeah. It's so like five hikes in like nine hours. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we hope you uh, liked seeing a little bit of LA and uh, some of the post-workout stuff that we like to do. And it would be cool if you guys comment down below the best hiking places you know of. Yeah, in your state or province or city. Or country or wherever. Yeah. We really hope you enjoyed this video. We love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye. Say bye, guys.